Today we are going to create a slideshow that looks like this. Let's get started. Create a new composition. Import three photos and a background. Create a folder named Images to contain the images. The background is dark and I will use curves to make it brighter. Looks better. Now create a composition named Photo 1. Right click, New, Solid. Choose White. Add Photo 1 to Composition. Adjust the size and position of the two layers to look like a Polaroid picture. Coming back to Comp 1. Add Photo 1 to Comp 1. Turn two layers to 3D. Create a spotlight. Color is white. Intensity is about 180. Con feather is 100%. Tick on cast shadow. Shadow darkness is 70%. Shadow diffusion is 350. Hover on the spotlight until the Z-axis appears. Hold down the mouse and move the Z-axis to bring spotlight away. Do the same with the X-axis and Y-axis. In Photo 1 Composition, open Material Options. Turn on Casts Shadows. Turn off accepts lights. Inwood.png, open material options. Turn off accepts lights. We see the Z coordinate of the background is zero. I want the image at the top of the table. I have to reduce the Z coordinate of the image down. We have now seen the shadow of the photo on the table. Move current time indicator down to 2 seconds in the timeline. Set a position keyframe and rotate the Z-axis keyframe. Move current time indicator to the time of 0 seconds in the timeline. Rotate the picture a bit. Change the coordinates of the image so that it exits the screen. So the picture fell on the table and stood still. But I want it to slip a little more than stop. At the moment near the end of the movement, I will set a keyframe of position. I will give this point and the end point has the same Z coordinate so that it slides on the table. Minus 23. 
But we see the picture moving down the table, I will fix it now. Right click on position, select separate dimensions. Click graph editor. Choose Edit Speed Graph. I will make the chart sloping so that the image rotates slowly until it stops. Z Position. Choose Edit Value Graph. Select Convert Vertex Tool. Edit to convert the chart into a straight line. Y position. Edit to convert the chart into a straight line and delete the middle keyframe X position. X position. Do the same as Y position. Choose Edit Speed Graph. Do the same as Z rotation. That's it, let's see. If this video is useful to you, please like, share the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.